So why is one of our main protagonists, Lucia, wearing an ankle monitor? What does this actually mean in relation to GTA 6? Well, that's what we're going to be getting into in today's video. But before we get straight into it, if you guys are new to the channel, welcome on in. Please make sure to subscribe to Project Vice. Help the channel out as much as you can. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers, so any help would be greatly appreciated. Like and turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any upcoming GTA 6 video. But let's get straight into it. So with official artwork of Grand Theft Auto 6 that we received in December of last year, we can actually see something peculiarly interesting within it. And that is the fact that there is an object on Lucia's right ankle within the bottom part of this artwork. And we can actually see that Lucia is wearing an ankle monitor. If you guys are unaware what an ankle monitor is, it essentially disallows you from entering specific locations. So the police or the correctional facilities will monitor your whereabouts and is used for criminals that have committed crimes to restrict the how far you are able to go to so you can't travel within a certain radius there's only a particular part of an area of which you are able to stick within and it's also used to monitor curfews and a geo tracking to stop you from visiting a certain particular locations now to provide you guys some context and what this will actually mean in relation to Grand Theft Auto 6 does this actually mean that we will not be able to visit certain locations at the start of the game due to Lucia actually wearing this ankle tag so essentially will we be a geo restricted well rockstar games have actually done this in the past and that is where the grand theft auto vice city if any of you guys have played vice city you would know that at the start of the game you aren't able to actually access parts across the bridge or any other parts of the map and that is actually due to a storm warning message that does come up on the radio at the start of the game but also if you attempt to cross the road bridge you would see a bunch of these stop signs and other signs saying no cars beyond this point danger hurricane warning no access across the bridge so linking this back to gta 6 and considering what we already have seen within trailer one the fact that lucia is a prison inmate at one of these correctional facilities in vice city or somewhere about in leonida we don't know where exactly but does this mean that we can't visit certain parts of the map at the start so for example wherever this correctional facility wherever this prison actually is let's say it's in port gelhorn for example and this is me of course just speculating here but let's say it's in port Gilhorn. Maybe that mean that might mean at the start of the game we might not be able to actually access Vice City. I gotta say it's definitely interesting questions indeed because Rockstar have it done it in the past and they could definitely do it once again. Now before we get into the next part of the video let me tell you about the sponsor of today's video Private Internet Access. Now internet privacy is super important. A lot of games on the market use a P2P model which is referred to as a P2P model where you're essentially not playing on a server but you're connecting to someone else's console and they are connecting to yours. Now a notable example of this is GTA Online. Now an issue with this is that it makes it super easy for someone to access your IP address as it is not secure at all with this P2P model. But if you use private internet access it will help you overcome these issues as it will provide a barrier between yourself and the other person's console. You can change your location to one of 50 US states or 91 countries. Now this is significantly beneficial if you are in the US as you only have to change your location to a nearby state rather than having to ping your location to the other side of the world. So not only will you get super fast gameplay, but you will remain completely private in the process. For me, when I'm playing online, whether it be GTA Online or whatever, I'm always using a VPN. So if you want to save yourself 83% off and get four months free, click the link down below. It's only $2.03 a month, which is a crazy good deal. Now, there was an article that came out by Game Rant last year in late December after the trailer did drop, going over rumors explained in relation to Lucia's ankle monitor and what it potentially may mean. And they start off by saying Lucia's ankle monitor could be an early game changer for GTA 6 as ankle monitors are used to track those wearing them. Fans have theorized that Lucia's could be used to limit the area of the map that can be explored by the player at the start of GTA 6's narrative. Early game map limitations have been used in GTA extensively throughout the years, in this case GTA Vice City which I went over earlier and the rumored huge size of GTA 6's map, which we have seen with the mapping project and also the leaked files and footage that we did see back in September 2022, would require some restrictions to ensure that players do not get immediately sidetracked with exploration. This theory proposes that Lucia would eventually complete her probation, removing the ankle monitor restriction or the character simply becomes so engrossed in a life of crime that she removes it without worrying about the repercussions. More long-standing theories for GTA 
GTA 6 by fans also suggests that the game might feature Caribbean islands, which I've covered in other previous videos, that being Cuba potentially being a part of GTA 6's story. And the article continues on by saying, as well as Vice City and this kind of international travel would be impossible with the limitations of an ankle tag. And the article finishes off by saying, if this theory behind Lucia's ankle monitor is true, then it would be an ingenious way for Rockstar to constrict GTA 6's early game map while directly tying it into the story in a logical way. And I gotta say, based off what the article sort of broke down there, and just my personal opinion and takeaways, look, it does make sense of what we saw within trailer one with Lucia and Jason. Lucia going directly to prison, pretty much getting apprehended. And with Jason, we are unsure of his whereabouts when Lucia is in that prison. We don't have any ideas of what happened after that robbery at the Uncle Jack's liquor store. All we know is that Lucia is wearing that ankle tag at the correctional facility with Stephanie at the start of the trailer. And the fact that Rockstar Games have done it in the past with Vice City by restricting Tommy Vassetti or us ourselves as the player to visit certain locations around Vice City, I wouldn't put it past them to do it once again considering that it's going to be tying into the story quite seamlessly. It definitely makes quite a fair bit of sense and in my opinion it does actually add up in relation to the story of a Grand Theft Auto 6 with Lucia and Jason. So if we are actually geo-restricted, geo-locked and we can't visit a particular part of the map then I think it will make uh, for interesting adventure in relation to the exploration of a GTA 6's map. By that guys, now I want to hear from you in the comments section below. What do you make of everything we discussed today in relation to Lucia's ankle monitor? Why is she wearing one? What does it exactly mean in relation to Grand Theft Auto 6's story and its narrative? By that guys, make sure to subscribe to Project Vice, like, and of course, turn on those post notifications so you never miss another GTA 6 upload. But stay safe, have a great day, and I am...